Dr. Ragusia, how easy is it for someone who has overcome an addiction, they've been sober for a number of years, to get back into the trap of having that addiction again? And the answer is it's almost certain. Um, what we know about addictions is that um, uh, they're almost impossible to break. If you take somebody and put them in the very best inpatient treatment facility in the world, the success rate's only about 35 to 50 percent. And that's only for a year. Um, what the research shows is that substance abuse in general and alcoholism in particular is an extraordinarily difficult problem to beat. And that's why the AA model works so well for so many people. Alcoholics Anonymous has the highest success rate of any different any of the different treatment modalities that we have out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, people have to see it as a lifetime commitment to sobriety. Mm -hmm. But for them, <clears throat> for people who are alcoholics, they don't think in terms of quitting for a lifetime. They think in terms of not having a drink today. Mm -hmm. And that's as far as you can go. I'm not going to drink today. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow you deal with tomorrow. Right, so you have to take it one day at a time. Absolutely. And Okay, so the odds are against them, Dr. Agusia. The odds are against them staying sober after one period of sobriety. Mm -hmm. What the, the trick is to not give up. Mm -hmm. If you keep struggling and keep fighting and keep quitting whenever it is you go back to alcohol or or uh, prescription drugs or whatever it is you're addicted to. If you just keep quitting, sooner or later the likelihood is you'll succeed. Mm -hmm. But you can't give up. Mm -hmm. So never, never give up. And now do you tell some of your clients, Dr. Ragusia, who come into you and they're getting over their substance and alcohol abuse, do you tell them that they need to find new friends or have a new group uh, associated with them? Well, sometimes I tell them that, but it pretty often comes to them uh, as an obvious kind of uh, uh, discovery. Mm -hmm. um, when you're trying not to drink and your friends are going out to bars all the time and putting whiskey glasses in your hand and filling them up with, with wild turkey, it becomes obvious that that's not where you want to be that particular night, you know? Mm -hmm. you're, you're trying, struggling not to drink alcohol and people keep feeding it to you. And the same thing's true for all the other drugs as well. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other challenges that your clients face who are overcoming their addiction and going through the recovery process? Um, well, I, th I think, hmm, I, don't, I, I guess I'm not done with the last thing you were talking about. It's, it's really hard to make that adjustment um, from one group of friends to another mm -hmm. social circle. Mm -hmm. what, what people experience is, is that they wind up being terribly lonely. Mm -hmm because they can't be with their old friends and they don't even, what they find often, is they don't like their old friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is, is they stay sober or straight. You know, if you've been getting high on grass with the same group of people for two years and it's all been very funny and giggles and chocolate chip cookies and chocolate ice cream and stuff, mm -hmm. okay? <clears throat> when you stay straight and don't smoke grass and get high <clears throat> and then you watch all these people while they're high they look kind of silly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the conversations are not brilliant or insightful. Mm -hmm. They're sort of dumb. <laughs> right? right? Very true. And the same thing is true with alcohol. You mm -hmm. watch people after they've had three, four, five drinks, they are not particularly charming or witty or intellectual or mm -hmm. interesting. What mm -hmm. they are is sort of gross. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so what happens is people look at this and they go, I, I don't want to hang out with these people. I used to act like this. And so they don't want to hang out with these people and they stop. Their friends shun them because their friends don't want people around telling them that they're drinking too much. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to party as much as they want to party and not be criticized for it. Mm -hmm. So they walk away from their friends and their friends shun them and they want to be alone. Mm -hmm. And that transition period is very difficult for some folks. Um, that's why, for example, a lot of people who get involved with AA wind up making friends in AA. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I point out to people is that most human beings in America don't drink too much. Mm -hmm. In fact, about half the population of America never drinks any alcohol at all. 
half the population of America never drinks any alcohol. That's correct. That's almost hard to believe. I understand that. <laughs> and that's because of the culture in which we live. Mm -hmm. We live in Key West where drinking is part of the way of life. Mm -hmm. Okay, But the truth is that there are a whole lot of people living in Key West who never drink at all, mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, some of them are people who never drank in the first place or never drank too much. <clears throat> and some of them are people who used to drink a whole lot who don't drink at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just quit it. And those folks come in all different flavors and sizes. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, some of them are people working as waiters and waitresses, and some of them are psychologists, and some of them are, are physicians, and some of them are lawyers, and some of them are judges. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, Every part of the population has people in it that have struggled with substance abuse and then overcome mm -hmm. uh, in order to be free of those chains that shackled them before. Absolutely. And the key, like you said, Dr. Ragusea, is to not give up. We're going to talk more about addiction on another show. You can okay. talk with us a little bit more. I think there's so many different angles we can take with it because it's definitely something that is so common around us every day. So thank you for being on this morning. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.